Hello guys, we are building this uh, Revel 1.40 scale uh, F102 Delta Dagger model and uh, unfortunately I have this one part uh, but I have uh, the other one, the symmetric one, missing. I lost it. So uh, I have the right side and I will, uh, build, I will build the right side of it. So I will show you how to uh, make a mirror copy of this part right now. So I have one piece of candle and uh, I have a part down here and uh, I'm with the stove on the oven, the burner part. Uh, I will just briefly put some uh, heat on the top surface, as you can see. Just try not to harm your hand, just, just bur don't burn your hand. And uh, I think, yes, the surface uh, is enough hot currently. Uh, we can use it to make mold out of our parts like that. I just want to have an imprint. Try once. Yeah, not bad. But it can go deeper, so I'll make another pass. Actually, it's good, huh? Seems nice. Yeah, it's usable. And better light, you see. All the details uh, are fine, so uh, I will uh, fill it uh, as an internal structure, and I will uh, put some uh, other dummy dummy parts, just one for here and one for there uh, for for the backplate. So it will consist of uh, three parts, I guess. So let's see. There are many ways to fill inside of this this kind of uh, curvature, not so deep. You can see it's just only a few millimeters. Uh, so um, the method I choose is filling it with bondo. This uh, uh, this is used for uh, automotive paint filler. And this is the hardener. You can see. So we will uh, mix and apply the this cap with bondo. It's polyester resin. Okay now. So with this knife, I will take just enough. Maybe this is more than enough. Uh, the cat is crazy. Uh, good advice, don't model uh, with your cat <laughs> inside the house. Uh, because uh, he can run and he can harm everything. So he runs away. It's a crazy cat. Anyway, so let's uh, put the bomber on a piece of aluminum foil. And uh, I will just put just, just a little drop of hardener. If you put uh, too much of hardener, uh, it will uh, dry too fast and uh, you can't apply uh, the, the, the resin uh, with enough speed on your surface. So I'm mi mixing that right now. As you can see, I'm mixing. I'll just mix it truly. Okay, now I have mixed enough uh, amount and uh, I'll be putting it on the surface uh, just with smooth motion. I will apply enough pressure and uh, I will smoothen on the surface. Yeah, I think this should be more than enough. Just make sure you are filling every gap and uh, you are getting a smooth surface. So, right now it's uh, good and uh, maybe some more uh, filler to this spot to, to not to lose the pattern. You can see, yes, I'm smoothing it out. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. It's all right, all good. And I'm cleaning the excess from the sides just to make it easier to take.
take the part off. And, uh, well, this is all rubbish. Uh, don't forget to clean your knife uh, before uh, it hardens. So it can be harder uh, when, it, when it dries. Yeah. So uh, it's set for drying and uh, we will see the result. All right, uh, about 10 minutes later, it's uh, about to dry. And uh, from the side, you can apply uh, and uh, try to raise without disturbing the general overall shape uh, of the mold. So I will just pull gently, gently. Yeah. Well, here's our resin. As you can see, it's a perfect copy of the part. Perfect. It's just great. But unfortunately, uh, this is a mirror copy, so we need to use this side. Thus, uh, we need to use the sandpaper uh, to make the rest uh, smooth. As you can see, the pattern starts to appear. Take your time and uh, slowly. Yes, after a while, uh, the rest becomes so thin that uh, you can see it in the light uh, if it's thin enough. So then uh, you can just use your knife and cut out those windows uh, because I will be using this side of the pot. Is better zoom? Yeah. Because it's a mirror replica. I will use this side of the pot. So I'm cutting out uh, the filled windows with my knife. As you will see. Just go to the corners, push, push. Yeah, I have marked and uh, I will be cutting through these dimensions. Okay, now, uh, it is time to make two pieces come together. For this, I will apply glue on the back side this time, the part I built. I'm putting glue to the frame actually, not every piece. Excess glue will make it a little more, uh, I don't know, look bad. I hope they make a good bond all together. Like that. Come on, baby. Yeah. Just slide it into the place. Okay, then uh, I will, when it dries, I will uh, work my way through these sections to combine them into one part. But for the rest, uh, it's actually a three-piece all combined into one, as you can see, uh, it's a good replicate. All right, now for this uh, kinked section down here, as you can see the kink, uh, I'll be adding uh, some more meat uh, to the part. Actually, I will be using this uh, flap section of the F4 Phantom. So, I will just... Uh, as you can see, barely uh, show marking down here. And I will be using this uh, flap line as a hole. You can see down here. And uh, just like that. It's 
sleeping all the time, so... Yep, yep. Just the bare cups will be enough for me right now. And I will uh, make it into shape afterwards. So let's cut. Plastic. Some more. It goes all the way. I don't need any precision down here. As I told, I will uh, build a part when it's uh, on, on the place. Just like that. Okay, now uh, the kink part is cut. Just like that. I will be gluing on top of uh, the part that I previously built. So I'm applying glue, truly. And one of the surfaces, made some blow. Yeah, for, uh, for this kink, I think we're good. As I told, I'm not, uh, not perfectionist with this part. I'm just trying to replicate. Uh, I don't want my model to be missing uh, an essential section. See, and uh, as you know, we have the back plate, which will be added to here, just like this. So, with three layers, we have uh, replicated this very complex part, almost. Okay, uh, so as to the kink, I have uh, cut this little body down here to replicate this section, this uh, profile section, but uh, I have some Looking sanding to go. Is it necessary? Not very, but yeah, why, why not? Just sand a little more. Ah, it's taking too much time. I got bored. I'll be putting glue. But too much. Yeah, just enough glue. Just enough glue to put it down here. Yeah, looks nice. So, this is the part finished. The kink. You can see if I have. Uh, just like this. Nice. Okay, now uh, as you can see, I start the paint with my airbrush. Just a second. Let's go first of all. As I see, I started to paint with my airbrush. After I apply the paint, uh, the results are quite uh, convincing and uh, really not much difference between two parts. Just slight uh, differences at, at this section, but uh, as this section will remain in the inner uh, part of the assembly, uh, I don't see any problems. Uh, I'm satisfied with the result. Here's a close-up. Okay, the part is finished.